We know for a fact that humans, Homo sapiens, were seafaring as far back as about 60,000 years ago when they built boats and they reached Sahul, which is the ancient Ice Age landmass of Australia and New Guinea. So we know that humans got there by boat. But what's really interesting, I think, is when we start looking back way further in the past and looking around the area of uh, Indonesia and stuff like that. So since 2004, we've known that hominins were on an island called Flores. So these are the hobbit people, the Homo floresiensis. And what's, why it's interesting is because it's been separated from the mainland Asia by deep ocean channels. Then they discovered uh, some tools on Luzon, which is a bit further north. Uh, in August this year, last month, Nature published an article about Sulawesi, which is another island in the vicinity, and they discovered that there were human tools found there from even older. It's always been a stretch of at least like 100 kilometers of open, deep open ocean for humans to cross. And the argument I made in a video was that, okay, Flores, maybe it was an accident. Okay, Flores and Luzon, maybe it was an accident. But then we get Flores, Luzon, and Sulawesi. And at what point does coincidence start to become behavior? At what point do we see all these islands that all have been separated by deep ocean channels, by vast stretches of ocean? And at what time do we start to think that maybe this was deliberate action by these ancient humans? What time do we think that maybe they had the, the cognitive capacity and the planning and the foresight and the imagination to build rafts and to head out for the open horizon? Then you start thinking about, well, if they could have reached this far, where else could they have reached?